<laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, on for our second edition here of our morning golf talk, our Total Golf Trainer morning golf talk. Uh, yesterday, we talked about putting, and I gave you some drills. We used the TGT arm to really fill that Tiger Woods one-hand-only drill, getting some more club face control, some more club control in general. Now, I got a DM, someone asking about chipping and how we can use the Total Golf Trainer arm to reinforce good wrist positions as well with our chipping. So I have the TGT arm on here. And again, the thing about our products that really differentiate from most that are out there is, is the flexibility or the custom fit. So everyone grips it a little different, a little stronger, a little bit, a little stronger, a little weaker. So we wanna make sure that we adjust the training rod to fit our grip at setup. Now, we're gonna have two ways to use this for chipping. We're gonna have avoidance training, where we're gonna set up the training rod with some space between my trail wrist and the ball. And now when I make a chip, I want to avoid using my wrist and making contact to that ball. So this is an avoidance training where I wanna keep the ball from touching my trail hand as I go back and through. Making nice solid contact. One of the big things in chipping I see a lot uh, with my lessons and a lot of people is, is the variation of ball positions. People like moving the ball position around a lot in their stance. The thing about that is, is every club that we have made by the manufacturers comes with a certain loft. So right here I have my 58. Well, if I take my 58 and I decide to put the ball back in my stance and I have the shaft leaning this far forward, I no longer have a 58. Yes, I want the ball to get on the ground and roll a little bit more, but now I'm turning a 58 into maybe a nine iron, maybe an eight iron, who knows what loft it is. So there's not consistency in our expectation when we go out there to hit it. Remember, you got lots of clubs in your bags and all these clubs have a correct amount of loft on them and they have the same amount of loft. So when you come in and you set up with a center to slightly forward ball position for all your chips, no matter what club you use, you're gonna be able to use a variety of clubs and see a variety of expectations on the chipping green versus trying to take one club and finagle it into doing three or four different things, changing your technique, changing the angle of the club, and having unknown expectations out there. Remember, the tour pros do this for hours and hours and hours to figure out if I take a 58 off my back foot, what loft is it? And they also have the technology to figure out what loft it is, to figure out what an expectation would be if they place the ball back in their stance like that. So for the majority of the golfers out there, what you wanna do is to help reinforce your full swing, get better with your chipping. Get that ball position centered to slightly forward, very similar to where it would be in your full swing. Get a feeling of your weight body tilting or leaning to the forward side or your target line side. This is gonna help the angle of attack so that we can clip the ball with a little bit more spin and make sure that we're controlling again the handle of the golf club back and through. You see people get set up and you see them wanting to lean back this way and then all of a sudden you see a lot of this like wristy motion, oh I don't want to hit it too low or I want to try to get underneath it. So what we want to try to do is really get expectation for the clubs that we have in our bag. I love taking a sand wedge, I love taking pitching wedge and nine iron. These three clubs will give you three different options when you get around the green if you're hitting them the same way. So if we're setting up with the ball center to forward, we have our weight leaning slightly forward, trying to create an angle of attack out of our body, not get tilted like we're hitting a driver off a tee. Then we're able to come in and use the correct loft and design of the club for a 58. So being that this is my 58, as you can see, when I hit it well, it doesn't have a lot of roll on it. If I hit that same shot, same landing spot on the green with a pitching wedge, I get more roll. And with a nine iron, I get more roll. So what I wanna be consistent with, what I see too many people not focusing on is a landing area on a green. So when you're practicing chipping, 
get out there, focus more on where you want the ball to land, visually try to land five balls in the same spot, so then you can see what your outcomes will be depending upon the club that you use. Now, again, back to the Total Golf Trainer arm and our avoidance training. So when I'm setting this up with a little space, once again, I want to avoid contact to the training rod and that gives me good feedback. If you're someone who likes to snatch the club head away, this is a great drill for you. And then on the other hand, we have our contact training. So now I'm gonna bend the rod back to where it's gonna contact me at address. And now I wanna maintain this contact as I go through. For those of you that have a tendency to flip that trail wrist, try to scoop under the ball a little, this is a great one to maintain the contact on the way through. Keeping that handle in front, avoiding the scooping underneath the ball. Now remember, this is a straightforward bump and run style chip that I'm showing you right now with the handle slightly forward. And this is the shot that you're gonna use most when you're out there playing. Rarely, unless you get into a bad position where you gotta hit a shot over a bunker or you're very short-sighted, are we gonna do things like open the club face or lean the handle back? And we'll talk about those in other videos. But today we wanna to reinforce setup, ball position the same. Use the loft of the club that you choose out of your bag. Learn the expectations of what those clubs should do on the chipping green. So when you practice chipping, don't just chip to try to make it the hole. Chip to try to hit your landing area as many times as possible. Then you'll see a consistency out of your result. That allows you to go play golf with more confidence around the greens, getting more up and down, chipping it closer so we don't have to putt as much. Always love that. So once again, this is gonna be our contact training, keeping it touching. And then you're gonna be able to bend for the avoidance training and not touch the training rod going back and through. So it's up to you which one of these you feel like is gonna give you the best feedback. And that's the one you wanna use. So I hope everybody enjoyed this morning's little segment. Once again, DM us, leave some comments below in these videos. So we have more content, more information to get out to you specific for what you're working on in your game. And again, from TGT Mini Headquarters, hope everybody has a great morning and a great day.